the high seas, high seas. Cast my line, now they're biting. Rocky coast and lighthouses, what she knows now I doubt it. Talk to me nice. I think your confusion starts with street lights. Hi Cancer, welcome to your May 2019 reading with me guys. This month I'm going to get right into the tarot. Um, I think that we should just get right into it. So let's go ahead and see what's going on for you guys in May. I did shuffle the cards before recording. And we do have the Sun card, just like Taurus got. Some of you guys could have Taurus connections. Um, if you're dealing with a Taurus, you might want to check that out. Both you and Taurus so far have an underlying energy for May of your own happiness, your own success, your own joy. Um, could be a Leo energy here as well, or a child's energy. It might be your inner child. Um, but the sun card is great. There's, there might be a message here about waiting until the sun enters Cancer, which will happen later on next month in June. So yeah, Cancer, there's just something here about uh, this huge light. Um, the eye in the sky, the sun, this solar energy, okay? Your happiness, your warmth, your joy, your vitality. So let's see what's going on uh, for May for you guys. What are the messages for Cancer for May? What's the first week of May? The first week of May for Cancer. Whoa. Oh, goodness. I knew somebody would do this to me. Cancer. I had I, I kind of had a premonition last night that... Because this month I'm doing four cards. Um, first week of May, second week of May, third week of May, fourth week of May. And I had a feeling that someone would spit out all their four cards at the same time but i really want these cards to come out one at a time but you know some of you could be dealing with a gemini or a taurus or maybe there's just some kind of commitment here um in a, in a relationship that's long term or something we have gemini taurus though for sure some of that might be important at the second week of may um you know gemini and taurus are the the zodiac signs that we're experiencing this month anyway and similar to Gemini, you guys might be feeling a bit left out in the cold financially, maybe trying to balance something. We have the five and the six and Gemini Taurus, so there is a synchronicity. You could also be dealing with a Aquarius, but there's also a wish here that is fulfilled for a painful ending to come to an end, okay? Maybe with a Leo or an Aries or a Sag. Uh, I don't know, Cancer, that was an interesting message. Um, definitely a commitment here that you have to choose. You have to choose. Maybe it's between a, a Taurus or um, a Gemini. It could also be a marriage. And I do feel like there's some of you guys out there who are religious because we do have the Hierophant, which is a priest, and then we have the Five of Pentacles, which is a church energy. So some of you guys could be seeking spiritual counsel from like a priest or a counselor or something like that, going to church. Um, you know, because there is something there about your faith as well. But let's see if only one card can come out. So please just give me one card, Spirit, Universe, and Ancestors, to best explain the first week of May for Cancer. Please just give me one card, just so we can keep it clear. Thank you. First week of May is the World card, Cancer. Interesting. So Saturn here, Saturn retrograde is something we should talk about um, at some point in your reading. Because Saturn has a lot to do with your battles right now. We have a lot of karmic battles here. For some of you, that's going to be hitting your relationship house because Capricorn is your opposite sign and Saturn is currently retrograding in your seventh house of relationships, Capricorn. So there's some kind of um, maybe a celebration at the beginning of May. It might even be an ending to a cycle. But it has something to do with a battle to end this cycle. It has something to do with someone who's um, maybe a de defensive or a little bit protective. They're wounded. This is a wounded battle card. So you guys have been through a lot of heavy battle cycles, I'm seeing. Um, yeah, and it might even have to do with like a home environment, family environment, um, fi you know, future financial success. Let's see what the second week of May is going on for you, Cancer. What is the second week of May? One card, please. So we have the Three of Cups, but then the Nine of Pentacles wanted to come out. So, okay. Bottom of the deck is the Six of Wands. So lots of attention here. Lots of um, public attention. This is another celebration card. So I definitely think some of you characters are out there celebrating at some point. Maybe at the beginning of May. Definitely towards the middle of May, second week. And it might be because you guys are single. Or there maybe there's one of your friends who became single. So you guys are like celebrating and 
maybe you get some attention while you're celebrating with a single friend because there is there's three important friends coming into the second week and you know I didn't mention it yet but but um the first half of May is all about your friendships the second half of May is all about your 12th house cancer which is extremely important for you we'll talk about that in a minute but um yeah there's definitely there's yeah okay there's some victory here we have the major arcana for victory now the only other card for victory would be the chariot card which is your card but this is victory this is victory so there's like a new beginning of clarity and victory here at the second week of may and it might have to do with something you celebrate it might be financial very interesting let's see the third week of may for cancer what is the third week of may for cancer what is their message for the third week of may 2019 cancer energy third week of may okay that just reversed itself so we have the six of seven of pentacles in reverse so third week of may somebody is done putting in effort they're done waiting and it might might be a job it might have to do with the pisces cancer scorpio for some of you it's going to be a female um, we do have a water sign feminine energy here. Oh, wow. Look at there. We have the chariot. So I feel like this is probably you. It could be a Scorpio or a Pisces as well, but it's very feminine. Some of you are wanting to move forward. Now we have some beautiful energy here. The sun, the magician, manifesting happiness. Some of you may have children. You're trying to move forward in spite of obstacles of what you might think you don't have enough of. Okay. You're manifesting something. And I think this is about moving forward emotionally. You're going to have to um, balance your emotions. And we do have the devil here. Some of you are dealing with a, a Capricorn, your opposite sign. Others of you may feel a very toxic attachment to a fire sign man. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Or maybe it's just a very cocky, arrogant man if it's not a fire sign. I think some of you guys are deciding to leave behind a fire sign energy. Uh maybe they're arrogant or something or cocky or just have a very big ego but it's like i don't know if this fire sign left or if you're headed towards this fire sign this might be someone who you just have a very passionate connection with it could be a fire sign with capricorn energy or vice versa but it looks as if they're there's you're headed towards a fire sign or maybe they're you're coming or you're hanging on to a fire sign sagittarius for some of you also a libra here interesting but this this is like toxic okay this is um some kind of codependent energy um could be a leo as well i do feel like there is some lust here with this fire sign uh, and there's definitely some some moving on um there as well but cancer you're coming up here you need to balance your emotions make sure you're balancing your emotions in the name of moving on from your obstacles until your victory your victory cancer i think you're done waiting for something at, at the the third week of may okay Let's see how the fourth and final week of May is for Cancer. What is the ending of May like for Cancer? We have the Empress. Okay, this is the mother energy, which is you, Cancer. You are the mother in astrology. This is the mother in tarot. Could be a Libra or a Taurus that you're dealing with because we do have the Justice card at the bottom of the deck. And I just did a reading for Gemini, and they also had Justice at one point at the bottom of their deck. So maybe even some court stuff. There might be something here about court or a lawyer or some kind of judge or just balance, you know. But the first week of May is starting off very karmically. We have Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio here. So it might have to do with any of those signs. This is a, a celebration that you're in the middle of. It could even be, yeah, I think some of you guys are pregnant here. Because to me... The world card always reminds me of someone who's in the middle of a womb. If you think this person's naked and they're in the middle of this like wreath looking thing. So it looks like a baby is in a womb here. You guys might be celebrating um, a pregnancy at the beginning of May. Um, and that might be why the Empress is here at the, at the beginning of May. Because this is also a pregnant woman. Just some of you. For others of you, you're just getting, you're giving birth to a new project, a new idea, something... But first, we have this Saturn energy to talk about again. Saturn in your seventh house, opposite of you, going retrograde. You know, this is the card for Saturn. So Saturn is also extremely important, probably because at the beginning of May, that's kind of around the time when Saturn went retrograde. So karma, but the world is like travel as well. Some of you guys might be traveling, and it's interesting. I do know a Cancer who is traveling or who was traveling at the beginning of May. So that's true for the cancer I'm thinking about. 
hopefully some of you resonate with that as well because I didn't I didn't I almost forgot the world is about travel as well some of you guys are traveling at the beginning of May and you're celebrating while you're traveling you're celebrating that you're single you're done waiting because you're focused on you as a mother now that is really resonating with the person I'm thinking about for those of you who are curious the person I'm thinking about is Dama Wilson she's like a YouTube star and she's been traveling a lot. Um, she's single. She's a single mom. I do see a single mom here. So I really wish Damo could see this. But that's just one cancer. Um, you know, uh, there's a lot of you guys out there. So hopefully you guys resonate too. Some travel. This is like the World Wide Web, okay? It might just be the internet for some of you that's, that's significant. Because as I'm recording this, it's May 6th. So we're pretty much reaching the end to the first week, which is what this card is. And then we have the second week, the third, and the fourth week. So we're about to head into all this energy into the future. So some of you have already felt this um, traveling energy, this karma energy, this Saturn energy. Um, you know, and... Um, hmm, yeah, some of you have already traveled the first week of May. But that, that doesn't mean that you don't you can't travel the rest of the May. It's just the first week looks like you guys are doing some traveling, whether it's spiritual, metaphorical, physical. I think some of you are. And again, we do have Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, and Aquarius here. Now, the second week of May had those two cards that came out. And the first one, I believe, was the Three of Cups. So two indications of a celebration here. All right. Two indications of a celebration. Some of you might be traveling with friends family now there's a lot of feminine energy here we have a lot of feminine energy here so a lot of women cancers watching me not not that the male cancers can't watch you know shout out to the men who are into tarot the masculine energy um now cancer you guys are very watery you're ruled by the moon so even if you are a man watching i mean you're very feminine that mother vibrate very maternal vibration for all cancers but I just wanted to say there are three women in this card. So your female friends are extremely important the second week of May. They could be who you're traveling with or who you're celebrating with. But it came out with this nine of pentacles, which is single energy, single financially. Some of you guys are going out and turning up. You know, this is the single ready to mingle energy. All right. Second week of May, there might be you might have a tourist friend who celebrated a birthday at the beginning of May, who you went out with, had some drinks with. Um, you could have a Gemini friend as well who is celebrating this month, but it looks more so like you were celebrating towards the beginning of the month, towards the first and second week, and then the third and fourth week look a little bit different, like you're kind of done waiting on something. Um, okay, so yeah, Three of Cups, celebrating, second week, is female energy, Oh, I'm not extremely picking up on a third party, but there are three cups here. There's three different people with emotion. For some of you, that might be like a polyamorous relationship or three different people who are involved. It's like a love triangle, maybe. Um, if so, there might be an ending to a cycle with that. Because uh, there is some, there's like single here. I, you know, it doesn't have to be, this is the single woman card, but it's also the garden of abundance. Like this woman is single financially, even if she's in a relationship. There is something here about a garden that you've been tending to cancer. Metaphorically, literally, you know. Um, and it's like, you want to be careful of a situation that, because this is the gilded cage, which is basically a comfortable prison. So be very careful of your comfort zone the second week of May, because there could be something that you're comfortable with, a job, a living situation, a relationship, friendships, and it may have you stuck to a certain extent, like comfort can sometimes be our chains, our chains of comfort, but you know, to be honest, what I'm getting is a single friend vibration, like one of your friends just became single, so you're going out to have drinks, you just became single, so you're going out to celebrate that, if that's not true, then there's just some kind of abundance here. This is very close to the Ten of Pentacles. Someone here is doing really good financially. So why not have a few drinks? You know, I definitely see someone here who's traveling and celebrating. They're very financially well off. So the first half of May looks great. This would be the half of the month where you're going through 11th house energy. And it's interesting. That's the house of friends. Um, the collective groups of people okay so there's definitely that kind of energy showing up Taurus represents if you guys have any Taurus friends or anything like that that's that's amazing because Taurus represents your 11th house of friends we, we basically have your 11th house here right internet the collective friends that's all that 11th house energy 
and again there is some single energy here with friends or your single single friends hmm very interesting cancer we're going to clarify some of this but that's the first half of may and that's your 11th house okay the community energy and then we move into your 12th house so the ending of may is quite important because 12th house energy is very watery it's very subconscious which is kind of how you are anyway cancer being ruled by the moon but the third week of may looks like someone is done putting in effort into something this this definitely reversed itself you have a reverse card here we're going to look at this upright for a minute because upright, this would be someone who's taking a step back from work. You know, they've planted all these seeds, they've done their best or whatever. This is like a reap what you sow energy. Maybe someone isn't reaping what they're sowing. Um, so they're done waiting on something financially on the third week of May. Like you're done waiting. Maybe it's because in this scenario, you found out that the effort you put in, it didn't... Um, you know, it, there, you definitely don't want to put any more effort in. It's all about what you see growing on this bush here. It's up to you at the third week of May. And this could be a relationship bush. It could be the, um, a bush that represents your job. But it's definitely metaphorical for something that you've put in a lot of time, energy, and effort in. And now it's time to reap your harvest. And so there's either a bush that is growing and abundant, kind of like this woman. A lot of garden energy coming up here. You guys have been really planting seeds and, and stuff like that and celebrating your abundance. But then there's this other bush. There's a certain bush in your garden. You can see this one is quite abundant and, and um, fruitful. There's grapes and stuff. But this is a bush in that garden of yours that seems to not be growing very well. Maybe a person, place, or thing. It's just something. The third week of May is going to reveal something to you that is not growing at the rate that you would you wanted. And for some of you, it might be, you know, about a pregnancy or about your mom. Some of you guys are done waiting on your mom or you're done waiting on some sort of mother energy. Or maybe it's like you're done waiting to get pregnant or something like that. Because this is a very, very feminine energy as well. You're done waiting to give birth or something. Third week of May, you're, you're definitely done putting in effort into something. This could be like you're done waiting on money or a job. Whatever it is, it was something that you put a lot of energy into. And you didn't get, you know, your efforts didn't pay off or something. You didn't reap what you wanted to sow out of the situation. Fourth month of May is this empress, the mother, the wife. Okay, very beautiful energy. You guys could be feeling very beautiful um, at the end of May. Giving birth to something, whether it's an actual birth or it could be a birth of a new idea, a project, something. But very abundant. Okay, I want to show you guys here all the theme, like pretty much... All of your cards, except for one card so far, is all female, 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 female. So your feminine energy is so important this, this month. Venus, as far as I know, is going to be entering uh, Taurus soon. This is a Taurus or a Libra woman. But, you know, female energy for sure, Venus. Female energy for sure, single. There's a single mom here. It's all female energies in this card and then boobs. So definitely female energy. For some of you guys and I do see that someone here is celebrating the fact that they're single happily single happily happy single mom that's done waiting on effort to be shown elsewhere okay Venus energy for sure beauty abundance mothering energy okay we're gonna have to clarify some of this but we have the justice here so there is an underlying energy here of a Libra, maybe the court system. There might be some kind of court thing going on, and there's like a new passionate spark. There could even be an apology. Someone here. Um, now there is a love offer here. A very, a very young. There could be a younger water sign. Some of you, it's going to be a, a, a Pisces child, a Cancer child, or a Scorpio child, or just someone who's a bit. These are children. You know, it's like this is the this is someone who's expressing your, their self to you at like a a 17 year old level right that high school energy like they're expressing passion in that way and it might be an offer for marriage with the justice card here and then we have the chariot here the magician the sun and the devil remember so yeah again with that that lust energy i don't know if this fire sign is toxic it does look like you guys are leaving a fire sign some of you leaving behind a fire sign because you might have felt chained to them. They, you know, it, it, I don't know. It might have just been someone you were passionate with, someone with an ego. Remember, it looks like an ego here, a toxic ego. But and, and and it is a Leo for some of you, okay? Because this is the Leo man, toxic, 
addiction and then this is the leo or some of you may have a son with this person but you're still trying to manifest okay with the magician could be virgo gemini energy there and then of course the chariot you and you might be dealing with another cancer but this is an apology i am not sure if you are apologizing to someone cancer offering your love to someone or if someone's doing that for to you but it, it looks like there is a little hint of a, a feeling a conversation here um, emotionally someone here has something to say and it's very brief it's not the knight of cups or the king of cups it's the very very gentle page of cups so maybe a quick message or text on facebook with a heart or something but it is passion it is a it is linked to a new passionate journey a new spark yeah there might be a new spark with a new person and this is a pisces for some of you i do see pisces cancer here um or any other sign as well and then we have justice so there's an underlying energy here of balance and harmony and maybe even a libra so let's clarify some of this cancer why is the world card here for cancer and we have the eight of pentacles so there's just a cycle you've been working really hard um at ending okay because there has even been conflict there's even been financial conflict you know, there's just something here that needs to change about, I don't know if someone has, spends a lot of time at work or spends a lot of time making money. And there's definitely some competition here as well. Some of you guys may travel for work at the beginning of May, or maybe that's just something you do. But the Eight of Pentacles is about practicing a skill. Some of you guys are trying to perfect something. You, some of you make money with your hands. Like this is an entrepreneur who makes their own money, travels and, and makes their own money. Um, putting in a lot of effort karmically to work really hard at ending this so that you can get away from this conflict and, and yeah some of you have a choice to make financially and there's some competition there's conflict with juggling all this at the beginning of may let's clarify the nine of pentacles and the three of cups why is the nine of pentacles and the three of cups here for cancer in may 2019 please clarify the three of cups and the nine of pentacles for the second week of may and we have the eight of swords coming out so we have two eights so if you see any eight eight energy very important and now we do have the hermit here so some of you guys even though you're turning up even though you're single you're celebrating you're hanging out with friends you're trying to be social it's like you're still having these negative thoughts of anxiety um you may be trapped in your head still there might even be someone who is in prison okay i don't know what's going on there but Sometimes this is someone who's actually in prison, and it could also just be your mind feeling like a prison as well. But we have two eights. That's really interesting. It's like infinity, okay? Now, this might involve a Virgo for some of you at the, the second week of May, or maybe this is just you feeling really isolated. Like, this is like prison and isolation, like the isolation. You know how in prisons there's those isolation um, rooms? Someone here feels really, really isolated inside their own mind. They're very introverted secretly. Someone here is trying to be very wise, but for some reason it's linked to negative thoughts. But we have the Nine of Cups behind that. So it's interesting. There's wish fulfillment here that you're reflecting on. You're going inward. Okay, but it's like, and then there's a Leo here as well. Okay, so well, maybe you're just going to need strength. And there's also a Scorpio showing up now too. Could have been an ending with a Scorpio. Maybe it's the Scorpio full moon, which will be happening in the third week of May. And that might be that might reveal to you why you don't want to put in the effort because that Scorpio full moon is happening in your fifth house of children, romance, uh, creativity, pleasure. So that makes sense. Okay, hopefully I'll have a video um, coming out. If you want to check my Taurus video out for the new moon, I do have that, but I have not recorded my Scorpio full moon yet. I'll record that on the 18th, uh, closer to when the full moon hit is. Some of you guys may be feeling trapped single because of you know what i mean like some of you guys are feeling all right i gotta pause here for a minute because this is definitely talking about a gilded cage okay now the gilded cage is again a comfortable prison someone here is comfortable in this prison someone here is has is actually comfortable with a situation that has have makes them feel trapped like it could be a home environment you know, a prison is anything with a locked door cancer. If it's a relationship that you feel like you can't get out of, it's a prison. If it's a job that you feel like you can't get out of, it's a prison. It doesn't matter how comfortable it is to be here, person, place, or thing. Okay, with these two cards, definitely. Gilded cage. Now, you could be dealing with an Aries because I feel like Aries received this message for the Taurus new moon. 
but um yeah maybe some of you guys would just rather be single because you don't want to feel negative anymore you don't want to feel this energy anymore you want to break free from this prison of your mind so very interesting card to validate that and it may have to do with being very wise about what emotionally fulfills you being very wise about what you wish for reflecting okay but you are going to need some strength when it comes to this painful ending because there is some kind of ending here okay it could be with a leo or you just might need strength but i also see a leo woman here some of you are dealing with leo men but we have two indications of a leo female right here and, and on the bottom going to be some transformation some sudden endings and beginnings could be painful could be a painful death here metaphorically of course hopefully let's see why you're done waiting at the third week of may character why is can what is this uh, seven of pentacles no i don't know what that was yeah some of you guys are traveling i'm, I'm not going to take this but this did almost come out some of you guys are looking to your future of love like there's a decision here to travel or there's like a there's you're waiting for your ships to come in right very futuristic energy the future of your relationship is coming up here might be a choice someone might be at long distance here as well and maybe you guys are some of you guys are done waiting uh for someone who's at a long distance or someone you haven't spoke to in a while you're done standing there waiting for this connection because you're not getting anything in return it's like you guys are done waiting for someone to travel for you and you're done waiting to leave as well why is um the seven of pentacles here in reverse for cancer for the third week of may 2019 why is the seven of pentacles in reverse here yeah you guys are feeling a loss it's, it's with an aries for some of you or a father figure um this is the five of cups conflict emotionally some of you guys are feeling extremely conflicted at an emotional level at the third week of may um in the middle of may as far as should you put in more effort and i think some of you are are um you know gonna lean more towards not putting in effort anymore because it just seems as if you know i mean it's in reverse the seven of pentacles is in reverse so to me that's a dried up bush that you know is not um growing right it's just something that's not growing at the rate that you would like it to it might be wasted time wasted effort and that might be uh what you're focusing on in the third week and may be very careful because there's a slight depression here um you know this is water under the bridge cancer probably something from the past and i know how water signs feel about the past especially you cancer you do represent the past capricorn represents the future so there might be something in May at the third week where you're kind of focusing on something that dumped over, something that spilled out. It could be a third party. You know, you know. remember that you have these three cups at the be the second week of May. But maybe there's one of your friends that are in prison. I don't know if, some, if you guys have a friend that's in prison or, or something like that. But those are the same three cups that are now knocked over the third week. So there's something about those three cups in the, the second week. And then the third week, they done poured out and, and now it's like you're really focused on that but if you turned around there is the two of cups there okay and remember that's the card that almost came out and i think you guys are done waiting on a reconciliation because you just remember the bad like you remember how bad it was in the past and it's like here's the emperor it could be twin flame because we have the empress and the emperor here but this is um telling you to take control of your emotions so that you're no longer depressed and pessimistic seeing the glass half empty when it's half full as well it might have to do with the father of your children it might have to do with a father figure it might have to do with an authority figure or some kind of boss you know but this is you feeling some kind of loss and conflict and at an emotional level something here needs to change about how you feel and i think it's because you guys wasted time waiting for someone and it really hurt you yeah okay so i don't know what's going on here but i don't know if this is like you know the father of your children cheating or something like that because we have the seven of swords with the emperor so this might be an aries for some of you but it's like um, cheating lying stealing someone with a hidden agenda there might be a boss here with a hidden agenda um i, I feel like yeah i feel like this might be happening at work we have the moon card here we have the tower and then there's that spark again so you know some of you might be dealing with someone with an aries moon or maybe this is a pisces because this looks like and this could also be you cancer or maybe it's the scorpio full moon revealing this because some of you may leave a pisces to be with an aries um maybe this is i don't know there's just some infidelity here um yeah with this here you know some of you are afraid that someone is lying cheating stealing 
whatever that means you feel you're afraid like this is following your intuition about that even if you're the one doing that cancer it's just someone in the situation i feel like in this case someone finds out about that in the scorpio full moon may reveal that secret to you romantically and that might be the tower some of you are afraid of an ending here some of you are afraid of an ending because of cheating stealing lying at work or with a boss or with an aries and maybe you need to take control of this but we have the tower definitely something that shocked you for some of you this is a shocking reveal of cheating with a father figure or something but we have the tower here this is like to me the moon and the tower it's kind of like falling apart at a soul level or keeping it a secret that you're falling apart okay tower something that shocks you at a soul level it might be that scorpio full moon but it's your fears as well the fear of everything falling apart but we also have the seven of swords okay this very this is deception and so is this so be very careful of deception okay in may cancer because it just might shock you unexpectedly but that's why you're being told to um take control with this emperor here okay we did have the emperor and that might be the, the backstory of the third week of May, why some of you are just feeling very at an emotional loss with this water under the bridge. Let the past be the past here, Cancer. Something ends or dumps over. It might be a friendship. It might be something about a friendship. And th this might be a case where there's a there's like a friend, a, f uh, a friendship, like, I don't want to say frenemy, but it's like a friend that might have romantic feelings for you or something. I don't know. I don't know. Let's clarify the Empress for you. Why is the Empress here for the fourth week of May 2019 for Cancer? And now we have the Three of Swords jumping out. So it's like there's a separation here linked to someone's mom. Some of you may be separated from your mother or they're like, they might be like the heartbreaking energy with, a, with your baby mom. Or if you're a mother, like you're separated. Um, this is really interesting, Cancer. The fourth week of May end of may there might be some kind of separation and that explains why there's also this loss here now there could have been a third party that you found out about with the three of cups like someone might have been intimate with one of their friends or something like that because they were briefly single at the beginning of may remember or you were briefly single and maybe you turned up and got drunk with one of your friends and somehow i don't know and and now you're stuck in your head about that and maybe even regretting some of that um or it's another person okay and now you're wondering should you know there's a reconciliation behind you here a significant emotional connection with another person it's also a choice if you would turn around here in this situation at the third week of may you'd see that there's still a choice here and i think the choice in this situation is either to continue standing there in conflict with your emotion or to quit putting in effort and for some of you this is because you're romantically involved with someone who's in jail i feel and you may walk away from that or there's definitely maybe a third party energy because the fourth week of may is the three of swords some kind of separation and it might be separation from your mom it might be your heart broken because you find out this person impregnated someone or maybe you find out you're pregnant and you're like fuck you know like others of you may be heartbroken because you're not pregnant you know, this might be, this is like a mother's loss, and that might literally be some of you unfortunately experiencing a situation where there's like a miscarriage or something, because this is a mother who's heartbroken, okay, Cancer? I'm not sure if that's you or if that's someone else. It could also be just someone who's heartbroken at a, at a, level, a level of their heart, because you can see the Venus symbol there in that heart. And then we have three swords. Now, some of you may need to speak with your mother. You might need to have a heart com a heart to heart conversation with your mom um, at the end of May, because to me, this is about speaking from the heart. It's about maybe a head over heart decision. You might have to make a head over heart decision in regards to you as a mother or the mother of your children if you're a man watching. I do see some masculine energy here. So, you know, there's definitely, remember there was a bunch of female energy and there's there's a little bit of masculine energy coming up too. And we all have both. And now the underlying energy is the four of cups, okay? Emotionally available or are you not available emotionally, Cancer, to accept whatever this offer is that may be missed? Because you're in deep contemplation in May. You guys are really focused on whatever the hell these three cups are. I mean, there are literally three cards that feature briefly these three fucking cups you see them in all those cards three cups three cups three cups i don't know if it's your friends 
I don't know if it's a third party, because some of you guys felt single or something like that. Or maybe you felt trapped or something. I don't know. And it's featured in all these different, because those cups eventually fall over. And now you're focused on those three cups here so much so that you're, you don't even see that there's a fourth cup being offered. So this is about your emotional foundation and you being emotionally bored with something, but seeing that in, in a different way so that you can become enlightened, right? We have a Pisces here again, and then we have a King of Pentacles, which is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn man, or any man, any Zodiac sign that is King of Pentacles. Like, he works a lot, could be your own energy. This is like a Taurus or a Capricorn to me, someone who really works a lot. Very logical man, not very emotional. Now, if you're dealing with an Earth sign, they could be keeping something from you there might be something that you don't know about this king of pentacles if that makes sense because there's some confusion here there's a lot of options here as far as career as far as home and family stuff so some of you guys could just be keeping the fact that you have options a secret and this is about following your intuition through illusion right literally having to make a choice with your eyes closed but be very careful about this choice because uh um, not all those things are healthy. Not all those uh, cups are going to initiate a good emotional response. King of Pentacles again. Maybe there's an earth sign keeping the secrets. Maybe there's some secret money here. I don't know. And then maybe there's something that you need to see differently about this offer coming in. Um, it might even be a sacrifice. I don't know why I always forget to mention that. But the hangman is a sacrifice. Something that you need to sacrifice in order to see something in different light. But the Four of Cups is telling me that you're so focused on the Three of Cups that we know has been featured in all your reading. It's like you're, you're, you're emotionally occupied somewhere else, probably focusing on the, these three people, places, or things. You might be ignoring that Fourth Cup, or maybe you just simply don't see it. So be very careful about um, a missed opportunity. But some of you are just not emotionally available because of all this loss, this depression, heartbreak depression feeling trapped in your head negative thoughts but you're still at the beginning of may trying to you know put in effort and because of that you do move to the nine of pentacles and you do have the, the ten of pentacles so there's like you know this ladder here to consider now remember cancer you are going through 11th and 12th house energy this will be your 11th house this will be your 12th house so a lot of friendship stuff coming up, a lot of internet, a lot of travel, a lot of collective energy, and then your very deep subconscious, which also came up with that card of confusion, okay? So hopefully that helped, Cancer. Hopefully that resonated. If so, and you would like to give me... <laughs> well, I'm, I'm definitely down to get a reading from you, Cancer. I always say when Cancers come to me for readings, like, what could I possibly tell you that you already don't know? You're like one of the most psychic signs. But what I was going to say is if you resonated and you would like me to give you a personal reading, please check my description box um, for any additional information. Other than that, have a great, great rest of the month, you guys, and I'll talk to you all in June.